I'm jumping off, is this a needed suicide? I hope my parachute don't let me down I hope I get the fly I don't know why, why I feel like I gotta die to be alive I don't know why, it feel like people are standing still With no desire, I'm on the wire Wobbling back and forth, the balance clown I won't be happy, if I'm not moving forward Then send me down, my vibration for eternity Will continue to come around So I gotta do this right, I gotta live, I gotta Hogan recruiting. This is Kim. Hey, Kim. How you doing? Um, is I, I was transferred over to Mark. Is he around or in the office or anything? That I cannot tell you because I am in Ohio and he is in St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> so you get his voicemail or. Okay. Okay. Well, that that's cool. You know what? It, it, that's cool. Uh, Ohio. Ohio's fine. Ohio's fine. You you a recruiter out of Ohio? I am. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's that's fine. That's that's perfect. I, I'm. Listen. My name's uh, Lashawn G. And uh, you know I'm. I just call in to you know get information about uh, Hogan and what what you guys can offer me. I'm a five year. I'm a five year driver. Uh, you know I'm also in a Facebook group and Hogan came up for several reasons. Uh, one of them was kind of on the iffy side, but still, you know, a friend of mine used to work for you guys and, you know, I thought I'd, you know, see what you guys got to offer. You mind if I ask, you, you mind if I window shop to, you know, get information about, uh, about Hogan and what you guys got to offer? Well, sure. Are you a driver? Is that what you are? Yes. Yes. I'm a five-year driver. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, you would be speaking with me. Yeah, because Mark is my boss. He's a VP, so you'd be speaking with me. Yeah, okay. So I could help you out. What okay. you got? Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm I'm going to, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and, and take some notes and everything. Uh, and and sure. uh, and and possibly, you know, I got my little, you know, my little recorder right here on the side of me so I can hear me ask the questions and all like that. Um, all right. So, Hogan. Now, I know, I, you know, I, I drove past you guys terminals pr plenty of times because I'm from Ohio. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I drove past you guys terminals plenty of, uh, plenty of time. But can you give me a brief background about the company? Hey. I mean, our corporate office is in St. Louis, Missouri. We have a terminal. We have actually two in Columbus. Um, one is on Obetz, and the other one is on the west side of Columbus and Hilliard. But we actually run out of our accounts that are located. So we pretty much base you as a driver on the account that you run out of. So where do you live at well, I'm in out, Ohio? Yeah, I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. and okay. I and you know on the website that i'm looking uh you guys is uh hiring for like uh what what does it say here uh like you guys got like midwest runs dedicated regional runs some uh stuff like that mm -hmm. i mean we have quite a bit so i mean what is your preference meaning do you like to touch freight do you not like to touch freight mm. do you like home daily do you like home weekly okay I, you know, like 48 day drive in reefer i mean what are you looking for in a run so okay so let's we have a lot to offer yeah, let's uh let's let's touch on um uh well regional you know i'm you know i i like to be home you know i like to be home every uh you know every week uh 48 is not a problem uh you know is is well let me ask you this is the is the feet or is the amount per differs from what i want to choose like if i choose regional if i choose to run 48 if i choose to touch the freight mm -hmm. okay yes. okay uh now the touch freight so the pay is different all right so the touch freight i've I seen a video on um on on youtube uh, I'm assuming the touch freight is the dollar accounts. Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are, so, 
you live in Cleveland, so uh, what I can do is I can tell you what I have to offer yeah. coming out of the Cleveland area based okay. on you being home on a weekly basis. Okay. So your zip code. Give me give me your zip code. Zip code is four four one oh five. Okay. So this is what I have. Okay. In because of you living in Cleveland. All right. Um. For you to get home on a weekly basis, I have the Clark account, which is the drive-in. Um, they pick up their loads in York, Pennsylvania. They run the East Coast and the Midwest. Okay. Um, I got Home Daily, which is Reefer, comes out of Austinburg, Ohio. It's a slip seat position. It's all Reefer. It's Home Daily. Okay. Okay. I have Home Weekly, Reefer. Comes out of Maslin, Ohio. It's Reefer. Okay. But it's Maslin is near. It's near Canton. Okay. So it's home weekly. Okay. I've got Dollar Gen Dollar General, um, which runs out of Zanesville. It's drive in and Reefer both. We run that out of Zanesville. Um, they're home weekly. That's touch free too, right? Yeah. It's a hundred percent touch free. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then I've got an ocean container account that comes out of the Philadelphia area, which there's a port down there. Um, we have that one also that's home every weekend um, in its drop and hook or whatever. It's no touch freight. Um, and it comes out of the port. And okay. they run pretty much the Midwest and the East Coast too. Okay, okay. So, 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 so sounds like you guys got sounds like you guys got a good number of uh uh a good number of lanes and a good number of accounts for for drivers we to do. choose uh, for yeah, for me to choose out of uh out of Ohio. Um what would be that what what would be the average um cent per mile or is this well let me ask you this, is it percentage cent per mile ten ninety nine or W two? It's all cent per mile. Okay. And you guys are all W two, right? We are. Okay, okay, okay. So let's say if I decided to do the Clark account, the drive in, what what will be the what will be the average cent per mile on that? Five year driver. That one's sixty <laughs> yes, sixty cent a mile. Okay, okay. So that's sixty cent a mile mm-hmm. come that's sixty cent a mile coming in the gate? 60 cent a mile. Yeah, six zero. Yeah, and that's that's com- zero. And, and that's coming. And then they get. Oh, I'm sorry. Go they ahead. They get stop. They get stop pay also because you average two to eight stops per route, and that's per load. And then you get fourteen dollars a stop. Okay. 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 Fourteen dollars yeah. a stop. Sixty cent a mile. Um. Okay. So. Let's just say, um, let's just say I'm interested in that. Uh, what would be what would be my next step? Uh, you know, coming to orientation. Uh, well, of course, I have to fill out an application and everything. But right now, I'm just, you know, I just want to, you know, do my homework. So uh, let's just say I filled out the application, I get approved and everything. So coming into orientation, uh, being that I'm out of Ohio, would I be coming to St. Louis or would I be coming to Ohio for orientation? No, we offer our orientations via Zoom. So you oh. do Zoom right from your house. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Uh, because of COVID? Mm-hmm. That figures. Uh, do I, do, do I have to, are, are you a company that requires us to um, road test? And if so, how did that work with, with COVID and everything? We don't. Oh. Because if you're doing Zoom, doing your Zoom on at your house, we mm. require you to do your drug test locally there, mm. which our safety department would set that up. Okay. Um, your physical, if you have more than four months left on your physical card, right. we will accept it. All you would have to do is just take a picture of your card and send it in to us. Okay. Um, drug test. Um, and then your paperwork would be done directly um, through your email. 
um, you would just click on all the links and then sign everything digitally, and then it comes directly back into us. Okay. okay. And then we would complete all your background checks, of course. Well, so everything you... is done and up to the point of getting your truck and communicating with your manager on how that's all done. Now, keep in mind, yes, um, once you are hired in our system, you will be required to do an eval run or training run um, with another driver once you're hired because we don't just put the drivers out on their own. Right, um, right. We have you come in and go with another driver just to learn our ways, Hogan's training. So. Exactly, exactly. The The driver that I right. that I would be going out with, he, he will have experience with well, more than six months experience with Hogan, right? I mean, you guys want to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I called the yeah, one. I called the one company, and they told me that yeah, the guy has like six months and all like that. And I'm like, bro, you, you, you training the blind, leading the blind right now, man. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's yeah. that's yeah. perfect. Uh, being that COVID has changed a lot. I mean, change everything. I mean, wow. Um, all right, so. Um, so the dispatchers themselves, you said that I would, you know, talk to the dispatcher, get him, you know, get to know him. Is it is the dispatchers there are are former drivers or no? Some are, some aren't. I mean, it just depends on the accounts. I mean, we encourage promoting within. Um, so yeah, some we do. I mean, some of the accounts have previous drivers on them. Yes. Awesome. And you did mention, you know, and we just talking about the one account. Uh, you did mention it's 60 cent per mile. Uh, it is W2. What, what other what other uh, pay payouts to the driver that I may get like breakdown pay, holiday pay? Um, let's just say like with the Clark account, um, mm -hmm. for an example, this specific account has the tension pay. It's $14. Um, you know, you got your stop pay. Um, some of our accounts, like this one, let's see, our which changes weekly. We have sign on bonuses. Um, oh, y'all do have sign on bonuses. Part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, that is sign on bonuses. is is that is that uh in uh, included with the account that I go with, or is it as a whole as I come in? If you should transfer to a different account, say you come in on the Clark account and you change counts, it doesn't always follow. Okay, okay, so you, okay. So this yeah, is for like brand new drivers. That. This is for like brand new drivers like myself coming in and I would get that sign on mm -hmm. bonus. How was it paid out? Right. Over a 10 month period. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, some company. So like, oh, I'm sorry, Clark, go ahead. Like this Clark, like this Clark account, if you come in on it, it's a four thousand dollars sign-on bonus. Oh! So you'll get four hundred dollars, four thousand, four hundred dollars a month on the first paycheck of the month over a ten-month period. Oh! How they pay it? Oh, okay, okay. Um, like some companies I have called in, a, uh, you know, doing my research and everything, they they make you jump through. Well, I I don't know if I'm saying it right, but they make you jump through hoops in order to get the sign on bonus uh with you guys the sign on bonus is is automatic i don't have to i don't have it's not a it's not a certain amount of miles that i got to drive in order to get it nope you're here you get it if you leave you don't get it there you go that's what's up i like that already uh what what would be the average miles you think i would uh, i would get on this specific account it's uh 2,000 miles to the 2029. Okay. Average stop a week is 11 stops a week. Okay. Would I be able to? Would I? Would I be able to take the truck home? And if so, um, yeah, would I be able to take the truck home? With this, you would be able to. Yes. Okay. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and this is this is home weekly, so I get home Friday. I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and then I come back on Monday, right? Um, with this account, uh, you get a 34 hour. Oh, okay. So it's not a, it's not a full two days off. No. Nope. Okay. At okay. least one full day for a 34 hour reset and then you're back out. And right. that's with this specific account. 
the other accounts are different. You have to keep in mind, pay is different on each account. Right. Home time is different on each account. Right. Sign on bonuses are different accounts. So right. it depends on which account you want to go on. Okay. Okay. Um, I only got a few more questions. Uh, basically, I'm going to like focus it on the uh, on the equipment. Uh, what equipment do you guys offer? And well, let me rephrase that. What equipment do you guys offer? And what truck? I will be put into or do you have any idea about that one I can not specifically tell you which one you will be getting mm -hmm. because they are account specific mm -hmm. so depending on which account that you pick even which you'll be going into I can't tell you specifically until the day you go get there right. because each day trucks are changed in different equipment drivers change in and out of them you know, okay. and I can't tell you which one's which, what's available. Um, that's an operation question and answer for them to give you that. I can't tell you. Okay. Um, we do have international mm -hmm. and we have freight liners. Mm -hmm. They're automatics and manuals in our fleets. Okay. We are an, we are automatic company pretty much, but we do have manuals. Okay. Um, we have, uh, you can have inverters put in your trucks. Um, our our shop puts them in. The driver cannot have them put in. We put them in your trucks. Right. Um, they have heating and cooling bunks in them, so the trucks are they are not like your APUs. They don't constantly kick on and off. You know, they're heating right. and cooling bunks is what they are. Um, what else? What other question? What was your other question? Um, I think that answers that all. Well, let I think me. That answers everything. <laughs> you know, right? Uh, so inverters. Uh, do we have to bring our own inverters, or do you guys provide that for us? No, we we provide them. Oh, yeah. awesome. Okay. Uh, what about what about other amenities like refrigerator, microwaves, TV? No, those driver brings those with them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically it's a basically is a bare bones truck and then I just outfit it with what I want in it pretty much. That is correct. Awesome. Yes. Uh what's the uh what's the computer for the truck? Qualcomm, PeopleNet. Qualcomm. And um our whole hours of service is right hooked with the Qualcomm system. Okay. Um, we'll be able to get all our information like truck uh like truck loads. We'll be able to talk to the uh our our driver managers through the Qualcomm and everything like that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh what yep. about everything's right through us. Awesome. What about a what about a driver camera? We do. We have inward and outward facing. <sighs> That's a deal breaker. Man. Ugh. And I now, I understand that you're saying that it's a deal breaker, but I want you to understand they're called event recorders. They're not on all the time. They're only flipping on for 12 seconds in case of an event. In a, like, say that you have, like, a car cuts you off. Right. And, and I hard you break. Know, it records for exactly 12 seconds. It records. It shuts off. It's not like it's recording you the whole time. It's not recording you when you're in your bunk. It's not recording you when it, something's going, you know, you're in there and you're, you know, doing something inside your bunk. That's not the case. It's only when there's an event that needs to be recorded and there's somebody cutting you off, you know, that type of stuff. And that's when people are thinking, oh, my God, it's a camera. That's not what it's doing. It's an event recorder is what it's doing. All right. Uh, you know, and that drivers get scared about that, but, but that's not the case in no means. This is a, this question right here is a driver specific question. And I was asked to ask you guys, uh, do you guys allow smoking in your trucks? And if you do, do you, do you guys like have the truck, you know, clean, uh, you know, desanitize and everything for, you know, before you give them to a non-smoker uh, truck driver? We do. We allow them, but we do clean them, yes, before we give them to the next driver. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, yeah, your, your cleaning and our cleaning are two different cleanings. <laughs> I mean, you know, exactly. Yeah, you have to understand that. Exactly. Right? I mean, my... 
I believe me, there's two different cleans in everybody. I mean, my cleaning and my husband's cleaning are two different cleanings. Exactly. You know what I mean? uh, exactly. Especially with especially with this COVID going on. So yeah, I, I definitely, mm-hmm. I definitely, definitely understand. Uh, force dispatch over exactly. there. I mean, if you're up for the load and you're the only one there, they're going to have you take that load. So I would say yes. Gotcha. Uh, wish y'all, and last but not least, and thank you for, you know, for, for, uh, you know, giving me the information so I could take back to, you know, the drivers and let them know what, uh, what Hogan got to offer. Um, uh, do you guys have a, you know, do you guys have a policy on felons? And if so, what, what is it? Well, I mean, we, not that we say deny and, you know, we don't decline everybody. We look at each individual on an individual basis. Um, we want to look at everyone and we don't decline everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't say, okay, yep, five years, nope, you're declined. No, we don't do it that way. We look at each one, we look at each circumstances, and then we take it from there. So I'm not going to look at an applicant and he calls me up and say, hey, look, I've been in jail for the last 10 years and I've been out for the last five or whatever. No, we we don't look at it that way. We run the criminals. We get the applicants and then we take it to our safety and they do the final approval in HR and go from there. All right. All right. We look at each individual basis. That's what we do with it. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, again, I see you guys got the car hauling thing. Uh, I guess uh, the last, mm-hmm. I know, right? Always come up in my head, like, ask her this right quick. Um, what's the what's the minimum requirements for, uh, for say, like, uh, drivers that's coming in? Like, do you guys accept drivers coming in out of school? Uh, do they need a year? Do they need two mm-hmm. years? Uh, what's what's the requirements? Yeah. We we take drivers from driving schools. We train them. Mm, we do. Yep. We okay. take them right out with their CDLs. We have a training program for them. Um, if now some of our counts don't do training, so if drivers want to come in and do not want to go into the training program, um, it's best and safe for them not to have to go with a trainer to have at least eight months verifiable tractor trailer experience with 53 foot semi tractor trailer all right now you know what i i hear the key word on verifiable now um so let's mm-hmm. say for uh let's say for a drive so let's say for a driver like myself you know i i got six years now this 2021 is my six year driving uh, but what y'all mean like verifiable, what y'all do, just go back and just be like, okay, well, LaShawn has two years verifiable experience at U.S. Express. Y'all, y'all would just use that or would y'all use the combined places that I've been at? Or let's say, for example, you send out, uh, you know, you send out the request and say, how long has driver A been working for you guys? And then they'll send, you know, one company out of three will send out two years. Will you guys go with that for verifiable experience? We have to verifiable tractor trailer experience at least six months or eight months within the last two to three years is oh. the best to have. Yes. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. That's the best way to have it. There mm-hmm. you go. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Hogan, for taking the time to uh, to to give me the information again. Uh, like I said, I got it. I got the call recorded, so I could go ahead and take it over to um, take it over to the drivers and let them know uh, about what 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 you guys got to offer. Um, what do you? What's your opinion? Because I, I I went to Indy and saw some reviews over there. What's your opinion mm-hmm. on on some of the not so great reviews that drivers might say about the company? Well, you have to keep in mind, though. I mean, your not so good reviews are typically your drivers that are ones that are disgruntled when they leave the company. Either they're disgruntled and they're going out there and putting reviews of when they're leaving because they're upset. Either they've been terminated for safety reasons 
or they've just been unhappy about things that they're probably not coming to work and we've terminated them. You understand that? Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, and those are the reasons that they went out there and put those reviews. Exactly. You know. All right. You don't hardly ever see good reviews out there. You always see bad reviews. I know, And those right? are the things you have to, the best way, and I'm not sure who you are or what you're out there for or what you, why you're calling me other than just to get some information because you see you're going back to tell drivers, but um, drivers need to actually physically talk to current drivers that are on the road they need to go to a store or if they see a Hogan truck and talk to actual drivers that are currently employed with Hogan. And that's what I tell drivers when I talk to them. Go to a Dollar General store, go to a Target store and actually talk to a driver that's there or go to a truck stop and actually physically talk to a current driver that's working for us and get insight on Hogan as they're employed with us. Don't look at a review online that somebody's already put a bad review on us mm. and say, hey, you're working for us. You're working for Hogan. I'm thinking about coming here to work. Tell me your thoughts and let them tell you about Hogan. That's where you're going to find out how we are. That's what's Don't up. look on the computer and read reviews. That's what you need. That's what's up. So, Thank you very yeah. much. That's that's some good good advice. Very good advice. Yes. Thank you very, very much, ma'am. You've been most helpful and most informative. And I, I again, want to thank you very much for uh, providing the information. Uh, I will definitely uh, go back to my Facebook group, which is Lockout Men Podcast. You can you can look it up on Facebook. And I would definitely, uh, okay. you know, give uh, give give the uh, information that you provided and uh, and let drivers choose from themselves whether if okay. I mean whether it's Hogan is a good uh, good fit for them and a good fit for me. I mean, All right. yeah, I mean, good. I'm 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 th- I'm I'm seriously considering the. Uh, the Clark account, sixty cent, getting paid, all that good stuff. I'm, I'm, I, hey, yeah. you might, you might hear from me again. I'm just saying. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sir. You have a great day. Hey, you too. Thank you very much. You have a beautiful day as well. Woo! One hundred years strong. Well, the reason, uh, the reason, well, several reasons why I, I, uh, I got Hogan. Uh, number one, it was requested. Uh, it was requested long time ago. I I had this Hogan request uh, sometime last year. And again, like I said, a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine, which he is a driver and he has uh, driven for Hogan. We would definitely get him back on uh, to you know to see how Hogan treated him. Um, and to find out a little bit more but yeah hogan transportation of course i've written down some notes for you guys so the available uh the available accounts especially if you're out of ohio uh cleveland specifically uh there's like maybe about five accounts to choose from so basically if you're out of a different area like st louis where the home office is at or texas or or Florida, something like that. The accounts may vary. So basically, we just focused on the uh, Clark account, which they have, which is a drive-in. You come in at sixty cent a mile, sixty six zero a mile. It is a uh, some of their accounts are if you want to be home weekly. Some of their accounts go from East Coast to West Coast, and some of them are. Uh, Midwest Um, for other accounts that are available for like home weekly or they have home daily which is a reefer home weekly which is a reefer they got the dollar general which is dry and reefer and it's a touch freight and they have a container now I might be also interested in container because I never pull containers and I would like to. I would like to pull containers, so that will probably be something of interest right there, but we're just going to go in and focus on the Clark account 
because that's basically majority of the information that I got. They do have uh, they do have a sign on bonus at four thousand dollars. You get four hundred dollars for ten months. Uh, it is paid out every first check of the month. No if ands or buts about it. You you the first of the month you get your check. Boom. You stay there, you get the rest of the money. You don't stay there, it stops. Um, due to COVID restrictions, all orientations are now taking place on Zoom. Uh, you do your videos, you do your video calls. I guess you talk to the people there. Everything is done through Zoom and email. Uh, I'm not sure if they part of 10th Street if they are, then a lot of the email, you know, it's best to download driver post to your phone. Driver post. Hit that. You download that and everything you do is from there. Um, your, your, what you say? Your uh, physical, if you got four months left, that's cool. You don't have to retake it. Uh, as for, you know, as for urine tests, it is, it is urine and they'll set that up for you you'll take it at a at a at a facility that's close to you they do have they are an automatic fleet and but if you like manuals just like my girl say you can get yourself a manual all right they do have driver cams inside of their uh inside of their vehicles and it's bare bones so basically you you you, you don't get everything you don't get nothing except for an inverter and the inverter the company will put it in they require they do offer their own training but i don't believe that they have a school i don't know you might want to ask that question um they do require eight months of verifiable experience now the key word here is verifiable so if they can verify about two years within the two years that you drove within the last couple of companies that you with then you're in there eight months in the gate um and that's about it oh that container that pits up out of pa by the way and, and oh and one other thing you can take the trucks home hogan transportation 100 years strong if you guys are interested in hogan give them a call at 866 531 zero six three three i want to thank hogan for taking the time to get the information that they have for i mean that they have about the company out there shout out to hogan uh transportation if you guys uh work for hogan or or drive for hogan and you want to come on and give your two cents about the company feel free to do so hit me up in the comments below hashtag hogan transport well that's going to do it for this episode of the mtc on the lockout man podcast show if you want your company uh spotlighted you could definitely call uh you could definitely get at me at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com if you're a driver uh again if you want to talk about it same email or just leave it in the comments below uh if you are interested in any other companies out here and you would like for me to give them a call you know spotlight them uh, spotlight them on the mtc you can definitely do that make sure you leave the company that you want spotlighted if you want a shout out because these calls are not sponsored and i am let me repeat i am not getting paid for making these calls I'm just saying. But if you like to donate to a brother for some coffee and get a shout out, you can definitely do that. The Cash App is Lockout Men. I mean, uh, dollar sign Lockout Men. It's in the description below. Just make sure that you put the your name and the name of the company you would like uh, you would like for me to call. Well, that's about it. I really do appreciate it. If you guys uh, if you guys uh, stay tuned, the make the call videos every week every monday at 10 e uh eastern time or 10 or 11 a.m central time i i don't know it depends on where where i premiered premiered this at oh by the way um for the people that donate 
you'll be the first person to see the video before anybody before it actually premieres okay make the call premieres every monday 10 o'clock eastern time 11 o'clock central vice versa i i don't know i don't know we we'll figure it out we'll figure it out everybody you guys have a blessed day and i will see you in the next one this show yeah get it in yeah. party over here get it in yeah. she like a liquor clear get it in yeah. she get it from a deal get it in yeah. make it disappear get it in yeah. park it in the rear get it in yeah. now make it reappear get it in yeah. freak it with no fear get it in yeah. pop, pop, pop it in the clutch girl get it in gear yeah. jump on it double dutch girl get it in gear yeah. drop, drop, drop it double clutch girl get it in gear yeah. pump it up butt lift now downshift